room for a massive cheer for everyone who's been on the ledge. This is Lucy Rose, she, her. Today we're outside of NHS England's offices in London where trans kids have been camping out on the ledge for the past three days. The group's demands are simple. Healthcare. We deserve equal access to gender-affirming healthcare. To delay care to a trans person is to deny it. We don't have time to wait. Secondly, we should be able to give informed consent for our own treatment, just as any cisgender young person already can. Dignity. We deserve to be treated with respect in all areas of life. We're human beings and should be protected from misgendering and deadnaming at all times. Voice. We deserve to be heard in all matters which affect our lives. We should not be used as political pawns and must not be made a spectacle for the benefit of politics or the press. Here are some highlights of the speeches the trans kids gave before they finally came down from the ledge. I would like to show you what exactly it is that the TERFs, the transphobes, the Tory government are so afraid of. This is a bottle of testosterone. <laughs> For people not close enough to see, it's transparent, it smells like hand sanitizer, um, but it means that in my daily life, others on the street see me for who I am, not what the government tells me that I should have been. Loads and loads of trans adults, allies, everyone came out to support and shower us with love and joy and care and so much more that is hard to express in words. At one point, the police had tried to intimidate us. What seemed like a normal check-in became more and more concerning as we saw two police cars and a couple of police vans pulling up and waiting around the corner. Those of us on the ledge refused to back down. We were prepared for the worst. We were prepared for the police to arrest us. And we kept each other strong as we knew we had to keep fighting. We deserve to be heard. We deserve to be seen. And we need to show that we're here and not afraid to show that we wouldn't back down in the face of oppression and we won't accept being weaponized any longer. Our strength and the love and support we received from the ground, rooting for us, helped us to stand our ground and we managed to intimidate the police back. We should not back down and we cannot be stopped. The bands that they used to scare us had scurried off and we all saw the strength we possess together as a community and as a family. We are not pawns for your politics. We've had so many people telling us to stay safe. But for us, this is safer than the NHS wing list. So many trans kids are suffering every day without support, waiting for the day where they can feel safe and be able to be themselves. Even on the ledge of a building we feel safer here surrounded by all of this support and anger we feel loved Thank you. people hating us and demonizing us may get views may get money may even get a few votes our trans love and community will always be more powerful than the hate. <laughs> Trans kids, you will live to see the day where you can look in the mirror and see your body as a home, not a prison. You will live to the day where seeing the word trans in the news gives you joy, not fear or despair. not tolerated. You deserve to be seen as the incredible people that you are, not an ideology used for political gain. You deserve life-saving health care and you deserve better. Hi, 
Hi everyone. I'm sorry I didn't write a speech. I've been up on this ledge waving this flag. So I don't even know how long. I'm angry. I'm tired. I'm hurting. And I know a lot of you feel the same way. You're not alone. And to all the trans kids out there, the community is here. Come find us. We love you. You're supported. Trans power. Then finally, after spending 75 hours on the ledge, the kids came down, greeted by a crowd of trans supporters and allies. At the end, the trans flags and signs were all taken home but the paper taped to the building was left, with the words, trans kids deserve better, displayed on the side of the NHS building. After everyone safely got down from the ledge, they all walked past the police car and went to a nearby park. Unfortunately, this event has gone largely unnoticed by the UK press. I believe the only organisation which has actually reported on this is Pink News, which is an LGBT plus friendly news outlet. You can follow Trans Kids Deserve Better on Instagram, as well as visiting their website where you can learn more about their work and donate to them if you wish. Thank you for watching.